Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris here from chrisducker.com. I'm sitting down with the founder of meetedgar.com, Laura Roder, and she's going to give me a walkthrough of this, from what looks like at first glance, an amazing social media um, scheduling tool. I have not seen the inside. This is the first time ever, so everything that you're seeing on the screen is a complete first time for me as well. Uh, Laura, take it away. Let's see how yeah. great this little piece of kit is that you've put together. Yes. So I'm, I'm going straight for the money shot right in the beginning. Um, so. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on. I love that. Go on. <laughs> so this is my own Edgar account that uh, we use for both of our companies. So we have two companies, LKR Social Media and Edgar. We do use Edgar for Edgar marketing. We practice what we preach. I should hope so, yeah. <laughs> yep. And what this is showing right now, this is the queue for the next two weeks and what's really cool about this, what makes different, what makes Edgar totally unique and totally different from the other social media software is that I did not manually schedule anything in this queue. Edgar pulled this all for me. So there's mm. 230 updates going out across all of our different accounts over the next two weeks. We're obviously very heavy social media users. And I didn't schedule any of those. This is work that we used to before we had Edgar. We either using a tool like Buffer, we had to put in 230 updates, and then you know Buffer chose this time slot, or maybe another tool you have to choose the time manually for all right. 230 updates. Edgar, you don't have to do either one of those. You just put in the updates once, and then Edgar cycles through them. So I'll walk through exactly how that works. But this shows you everything that you have going on, and you can you know divide it by just doing one social account. This is actually our new, this doesn't have anything in it yet. This is our new Edgar group. You can post to Facebook groups from Edgar, which is kind of cool because a lot cool. of Cool. Yeah, let, let's let's go over. So where where exactly can Edgar post to you automatically? What 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 types of social media platforms and and setups can it can it handle? We have it Twitter, uh, Facebook pages, Facebook profiles, Facebook groups, LinkedIn and LinkedIn company pages. Great. Okay, so no Google Plus yet then? We would love to have Google Plus. Google Plus has only approved five partners and they have not approved us yet. We are begging them every day. <laughs> okay, all right. Because, I mean, that's really all you're missing at the end. Yeah. Of that. I mean, the fact that you've got Facebook groups in there is huge anyway because more and more content creators that I know are now switching from the page to the group because of that beautiful little notification thing that you can get everybody to switch on. Mm-hmm. So, so this is showing what we have coming up on our Edgar page, and you can see that everything is divided up into categories. You can also divide up your queue over here and see only posts that you have coming in certain categories. So to show you what that means, this is, this is another thing that's really unique about Edgar. So Edgar saves a library of all your content, and he uses categories to divide the content. So this, we have some default ones for you set up. But these are unique to your business, the type of stuff that you like to post on social. So, you know, you can see we have some that other people are probably going to use for their businesses as well, like questions for engagement, inspirational quotes. Mm -hmm. These are our tips. You know, obviously posts from your own blog are a really important one to put in. And then you have your library with all of your content. So, again, this is divided up. You can view it by social account or you can view it by category. One of my biggest frustrations with other tools is we're creating all this content, why doesn't the tool save it? Right. You know? I've, I've always thought that was crazy. Most Totally agree, yeah. <laughs> most people are creating new content for social media five times a day, seven days a week, trying to make it all brand new, and there's just no, it's a bad strategy. There's no reason for that. You can and should be reusing the same content. One, driving traffic back to your old blog posts, which is one of the biggest values people see from Edgar is increased uh, social traffic back to their blog, but also little updates and tips from you, questions. There's no reason why you can't ask a question like, what's your favorite vacation spot? You can't just ask that once and never right. say it again. Right, right. Particularly on, on a platform like Twitter where right. it's, you know, that, that feed, that thing's gone in five minutes on people's feeds. Exactly. That's the nature of social. People are either online when you post it or they're not. And if right. they're not online when you post it, they're not going to see it. So you can and should be repeating content. So that's exactly what Edgar does. You build up this library. Obviously, ours is... 
kind of massive, you know, I don't this want, want this to intimidate anyone. And you can see, like, it's newer with Edgar. We just started using it. The Edgar social accounts are newer. So, like, we only have 15 tips and stats. We'll just keep building that up every week until we right. have, you know, 70 or 90 like we do with some of these other categories. Uh, so this is the stuff in the library. And then you use your schedule to decide how Edgar is going to put it in your queue. So you can see here like our, our Edgar Facebook schedule. Uh, this allows you to have a really nice mix within categories. So this is, another, this is another frustration that I've always had with social media. To have successful social accounts, you want to have a really good mix of linking back to your own blog, linking to other people's blogs, doing promotional stuff like buy my book or buy my services or whatever that is for you. It's, there's no good way in any of the tools to make sure you have a nice even mix. You just have to right. do it manually. And if you're being kind of smart and planning your social ahead, it can be difficult because you're batching updates, but then you can't add them all at once or they're all going to go out at one time. Right, right, right. You know, So you can see with Edgar, it allows you to have a really nice mix throughout the day. And, and what you're doing is just telling Edgar, okay, every Thursday... At 8.50 a.m. on this account, I want you to pull a quote from someone else. Every Friday, I want you to pull a question. And then Edgar just cycles through your library and fills it in your queue automatically. So this is so these are all, um, all updates that you obviously put in once into your library in different categories. And then you go ahead and then start working out your schedule per se. And Edgar will automatically just pull something that's in that list, say, of quotes from others? Or can you actually direct exactly what uh, tweet or what quote you want to go out at a certain time? I'm assuming the question, uh, the answer to that is yes. Yes, yes, you can. So you want to use you want to use Edgar's feature of pulling automatically for kind of your, your bread and butter content. Right, and, right. You know, this is something that, again, most people are doing social fly by the seat of their pants. If you have time one day, you have stuff on social media. If you don't have time the next day, you don't. So Edgar ensures that you have high quality content going out every day. Also, it's kind of cool because it's really easy to vet this content and make sure that it's great because you have everything in your library here. So another thing that happens with social is you get really rushed and you're just trying to put out any content. You know, if you have someone helping you with content or a VA or something like that, this makes it really easy where they just load up all your questions and then you can go through you can, you know, if you want to modify it to be more in your voice or, of course, if you find any typos or anything like that, you just, you know that you have good quality stuff going out on social because you're able to look through your category. Um, so l let me ask you this, and <clears throat> analytic-wise, can, can, can Edgar tell you what tweets or what updates are doing better than others? It's coming so soon. I wish I had it to, to show you on this demo, but we're still okay. it's still in testing. But um, within so the next be, month or be so. that'll be that that'll be point that that'll be two point oh. Yeah, yeah. Right now, okay. what we do is um, Bitly integration, as you can see right here. So uh, everything's automatically shortened to a Bitly link, and Bitly collects that data for you. Right. Okay. But obviously, you know, I, th I think it will be, and like you say, it's coming soon. I think a lot of people would be interested in having that. You know, all in one, all mm -hmm. in one sort of UI. You know. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. To answer your question, you can also schedule. You can also schedule new content. Um, this is you know pretty standard, like similar to what you see in other scheduling tools. You're just choosing the accounts you want to go out, putting mm -hmm. in your text if you want an image, and then you just choose the time here. Nice. Okay. So if I wanted one particular tweet, for example, to go out at the exact same time every single day. Does Edgar allow me to just do that once and then set and forget it? Or do I have to go through each day and program it, uh, you know, sort of every, on, on every single day? So what you would do is you would, yeah, you could put that, you would just create a category that had just one uh, thing, which sometimes people actually do for something like good morning or something like that. Right, right. Uh, so you would just create your good morning category. You can put just one update in it, or you can put a few if you want to kind of cycle through different language. And mm -hmm. then you would just add that to your schedule that, you know, every every day at 9 a.m., I want to pull from the good morning category. Okay, okay. And what happens, I mean, let's say I've got an error, uh, and, and I hope you don't mind me grilling you here. Oh, please, um, yeah. Uh, what, what happens if, say, let's say we've got a category with 10 updates in there, and you know, say I ask my virtual assistant to make sure that an update from that category goes live at 9 a.m. every morning. What happens when all 10 
have been used. Does it just go back to number one again for the 11th day? Yes, it would, it would cycle through. So you want to be aware of that ratio that you have as far as you know, how much is in your library versus how often something's in your schedule. Right. Um, okay. Obviously, a lot of things you don't want to repeat too much. So if right. you want it to repeat less, you can either put more updates in that category or you can just put it less frequently in your schedule. Cool. So, I mean, bottom line is there's, there's a long game that you can play with this. Obviously, more updates in one category and you just sort of work through them over a period of time. Uh, I know our mutual friend Pat Flynn has done that with his sort of uh, image quotes and things like mm -hmm. that, which is, has done very, very well for him. Every time I look, look at those things, they're like, you know, 30 retweets and things like that. He's done extremely well with that. But then obviously, let's say you're in the process of, of, of you know, promoting a book or an event, and that's a time-sensitive situation. Again, you slam a load of uh, categories, uh, a load of updates in one particular category. You run that for the same, you know, three, four three or four tweets rotating every day for a week for the mm -hmm. event, whatever, and then boom, you never have to touch them again. Exactly. So like we recently did that. We have a program called Creating Fame, and our promotional stuff for Creating Fame, we put in this Creating Fame Blows category, and we just added that to our schedule. You know, we're promoting this heavily for the next three weeks, and now we've taken it off because we're not promoting it anymore. But when we promote it again next year, now all of our social is already stored in Edgar, ready to go. I love that. I think that's fantastic. Is there any limit to how many categories you can have? Nope. You can have as many as you like. And as many updates in each category as you want yep. as well? Yep. That's unlimited as well. Wow. Okay. So is there anything else you want to show me or is that basically it? Yeah. I wanted to show you one more thing. You know, One of the things that Edgar is most valuable <laughs> for is sending traffic back to your blog. Um, okay. This is something that most people do not have a good system for is sending traffic to their old posts. Uh, and most people have spent years, like, I know you've been blogging. How many, how many blog posts do you think you have on ChrisDucker.com? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I would say 500 probably. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I was just looking through your blog, and just from, you know, the past few weeks, you have tons that are evergreen content that's going to be great for years. Right. You right. know? So, I should hope so. Uh, yeah. I mean, because there, there are some things, like, you know, here you have like the vid timber challenge. You're not going to want to put everything in Edgar necessarily because this one right. isn't so relevant months from now. But most of the content on a blog is relevant and people are not sending traffic back to their old posts. And what you tend to forget, like I hate it when people do these things that are like, oh, here's an old post or like here's a throwback or something. They kind right. of diminish the value of their old posts. But most of your audience has not read these posts. Right, yeah. correct. And actually, I mean, one of the decisions that I've made going into uh, 2015 is to actually stop comments on my blog, mm. um, even to the point actually where I'm going to erase all the comments that are already there. So when people turn up, that, that post could have been posted an hour ago. Yeah. They, they will have no idea at all that it might be two years old. And like you say, evergreen content that never goes to sleep. Yeah. So, so one of my favorite things to do with Edgar is just go to your blog, just open, this is the easiest way to do it, just open in a bunch of new tabs all of your posts and then you can use our Edgar bookmarklet to just automatically add them to Edgar. So I love that. You're just going to go, you know, go through super quick um, and you can easily put 50 posts in this way. Also, you can always go through and improve them, right? Because Edgar is just going to pull your headline and your sure. link automatically, but then you can go in your library, you can add a custom image, you know, you can put copy that's more interesting, whatever you want to do. If people just used Edgar for that and no other kind of updates, I guarantee it would dramatically increase traffic back to your blog, not because of any magic, just because you're not posting this now. <laughs> now a tool is doing it automatically, so you're going to get a lot more traffic. Yeah, no, I love that. That's awesome. Okay, well, I mean... It, it looks to me like it's extremely intuitive and very, very easy to use. I think that's the other thing is that, and I'm curious to know actually as, as we wrap up this quick screen share here, how, you know, the one thing for me is I've looked at a lot of these social media, you know, scheduling platforms and softwares before, and some of them are just damn right like hard to use. <laughs> like, I mean, there's no other way to, to, to you know, to describe it that, the just the UIs, the user interfaces, the experience for the user is not pretty. It's mm. not easy and simple. This to me looks really easy to use. I mean, how much time did you spend putting into 
the planning of the layout and the actual user experience. I'm just really curious. Yeah, well, thank you. That's that's a huge compliment because it is something that's that's really important to us. And we do think a lot about everything we add. How can we make this easy and intuitive? And, you know, running software, it's always a balance because we're constantly getting new requests from our users for features they'd mm. like to have. But everything you add does add another layer of complication, you know? So you just, you, I think you really have to find that balance of, is this really core to the functionality? Because there are things that have come directly from our users. Like, uh, we didn't launch with a bulk edit in our library, but now we do have the ability to edit a bunch of posts at once. Um, that is a feature that's, that's a little more complicated. That's the nature of it. But people really want right. to be able to, for example, go through uh, a bunch of their tweets and add them to their other Twitter account as well or something like that. Um, so that's, that's this feature right here. Uh, but, but that's I mean, but that's great because yeah. people are you know I think particularly for for brand builders and 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 entrepreneurs that maybe might have a blog, might have a book, might have an event, and they might have three different Twitter accounts for those three things. And if they want to go in and just sort of cut and and, and add mm -hmm. you know those accounts into you know past uh, past updates, that, that's a super cool function to have. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and we agreed with our users. You know, this is. This is great functionality, but we really, we really do try to think through how can we make everything intuitive. And it's obviously the skills of our, our developers and designers that it's, it's great as it is. I'm not involved with that at all, so I just do the marketing. That's, that's totally yeah, fast sure, to that. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, well, I mean, it looks great to me. I can't wait to give it a test drive. Um, and uh, for anybody else that might stumble across this video and want to uh, check it out, head over to meetedgar.com and um, see what you can do with this bad boy. It looks pretty good to me. Cool. And thank you very much for the, for the walkthrough, Laura. Yeah, thank you.